Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, ladies and gents, this is just an intro to the next video that we're going to be doing in the empowerment series, number 25, um, which is after 25, four more to go. Ladies and gentlemen, the Internal Revenue Service has issued a moratorium. Give me one second. And their moratorium is until further notice or further guidance is issued. No penalties will be imposed upon anyone who fails to do a 1099-C. Now, keep in mind that a 1099-C is required, ladies and gentlemen, for anybody who's claiming a debt that is greater than, pay attention, $600. So if someone is claiming you owe a debt greater than $600, they must report it. If they are telling you that you're in default, you're in delinquency, and that they're starting collection processes on you, that means that they have declared the debt to be uncollectible. Now, if they do send you the notice that this is an attempt to collect the debt and any information obtained will be used for that purposes, those purposes, that means that you are more than 60, or excuse me, 60 days, <laughs> 180 days delinquent. If your debt that you have not paid and they're still making collection efforts after 160 days, what you must understand is that debt is deemed charged off. Now, whether they partially charged it off or fully charged it off, doesn't matter. It is the benefit. So I will be doing empowerment series number five, showing you how they receive a benefit and how you can help your business partner out by helping them complete the form so that you don't penalize them. See, the IRS says that they are not gonna penalize them. Notice this, until further guidance, is issued, no penalty will apply for failure to file a 1099-C or to provide a statement to debtors for amounts, discharge of non-lending transactions and forgiven under the terms of a debt obligation. Ladies and gentlemen, if you don't receive your 1099-C, pay attention, that's because they simply didn't do it. But if they're a business partner, they're required to do it. You have a contract. See, that's why it says forgiven under terms of a debt obligation. You've never given them permission not to notify you. Supreme Court says they must notify you. So we're going to provide that information to you. Our clients are receiving a document regarding what they received. And as you see here, 1099-C, Farm Reports Cancellation of Debt from Creditors. They're required to issue this under 1099-C. If they cancel the debt of $600 or more, Form 1099-C must be issued when an identifiable event in connection with the cancellation of the debt occurs. It must be issued. Not they can do it if they feel like it. Do you know that? Well, no, we'll talk about that when I do the video. <laughs> I can't give you all of the juice right now. Ladies and gentlemen, again, when you find out the information that's going to be in video number 25, then you're going to understand better how to handle your own debt. You're going to better understand, those of you who've signed up for our programs, what we've been doing for you in the background. We've been creating a record for you. In the letter, which we won't be sharing with you guys, <laughs> okay, that's only for our clients, there is a statement that's made in the letter. It will be highlighted in yellow. That's what you're going to do. And that's your argument when you go in court. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm telling you, video number 26 will probably be on small claims court and how to be successful in small claims court. Despite the other videos that attorneys and everybody else is doing, I will tell you what not to do, how to do it, how to get in there. I was supposed to have had mine filed last week, but you know, they keep putting things in my way. Obstacles, giving me more things to do. I got a dog, another dog. And the dog's name is Griff, short for Griffin. Got him from the Anima Humane Society. And he timid, but he did something today that I was really appreciative. He's outside. And what he did is uh, somebody was 
coming by with a couple of dogs and a bike. And he literally lit up and barked at them. And I'm, that's what I got him for, you know. So there he go. His name is Griff, G-R-I-F-F, for short for Griffin. And Griff is a terrier mix. I'll put a picture up eventually of Griff. And so that's what I was taking care of yesterday. Now, I will segue because we're not going more than seven minutes. Uh, I'll segue real quick. A neighbor was going to give me one of the pups of the litter that I had. And the father, one of my litter, that I gave him the dog, had litter. And he said, hey, you want a dog? I said, no, I don't really want one right now. Okay. Then he asked me again, hey, you want a dog? I said, you know what? Yeah, I'll take one. And when it came time, he pointed the dog out. I said, I'd like the boy. He says, no, we're not selling the boy. We're going to give the, the girl. I said, okay, fine. I don't didn't really want a girl. I'll take the girl. Got to get her spaded, you know. And <sighs> built the house and everything. Cost me over $400. The cement, the house, everything, all of the work. Paying the person to come and help me put that junk together. Padding. All of that. I mean, you, you're you talking about the works, paneling and everything. I've made a real dog house this time. Completely sheltered from the rain and the wind. And guess what? He never brought the dog by. So when I went by his house after I got Griff, he was talking about how he didn't want to separate the two. I told him I'm a business person. I give you my word. I keep my word. And I expect other people. He asked me to forgive him. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't have a problem forgiving people. I'll just never trust them again with nothing. Throwing or anything else. Hey, but, you know, you live and you learn. So, I'll be doing video number 25 and 26 shortly. Stay tuned, please. Arrivederci.